Well, you know, living here in Florida, we encounter a lot of animals the rest of the country may never even see. Right. Alligators, bears, you name it, we have it here. That includes Lisa, snakes. Apparently so. That's yes. what I discovered this <laughs> afternoon. Uh, I had the nightmare of coming across <laughs> a snake, and this was not just any old snake, right in my backyard. And Candace Campos, I immediately called you. Yes. So you, and guess why what? Why is that the first person you called? Right? To well, get the she, snake? She was covering the whole thing. Here it okay. is. Yes. <laughs> So there's a snake in our garden. It was an eventful start this morning for anchor Lisa Bell and her family. The one thing that I am most afraid of is snakes. Mm -hmm. And so this, it could have been a giant, you know, spider or, anything. you know, a, anything, any, a bear. I would take a bear any day over that. That was a six foot boa constrictor. It's in the gutter. They spotted outside their window on their neighbor's roof. They sent me a call, I was in the office and they, said, hey, you got a big snake on your roof. Bob Cross from Critter Capture Services came to the rescue. Oh, he's in business, he? After a bit of a struggle and even a bite, <laughs> this non-venomous snake was caught. When you find a boa constrictor in a residential area in this part of Florida, it's going to be someone's pet that got away. Cross says that this pet has been roaming the streets for a while with a fishing line wrapped around his stomach. I would say by the looks of the injury that it has where the fishing line, fishing net and line was wrapped around that it's been uh, out a couple of years. It's been a long time. This is, this is actually, it's amazing. This is almost down to his backbone and he, uh, he was able to survive. It's just safe to say neighbors here are just relieved. It's not hanging around here anymore. I didn't want to wake up this thing in my bed. He lives right behind me. No one wants to wake up with that thing <laughs> in their bed. I mean, that, it was awful. It was absolutely awful. So fortunately, we were just in our kitchen making a salad. My husband noticed something out the back window, started walking over and looking and looking. And I'm like, mm -hmm. what is he looking at? Yeah. And the next thing you know, he says, there's a snake on Zach's roof. I have to admit that when I got the call saying, go to Lisa's house, I, I was like, this isn't a boa constrictor. <laughs> of course, She's probably making that? something well, up. And even and when we called Bob Cross, yes. he said, I get calls all the time. People say, oh, it's huge. And it turns out to be like this right. big. The minute yeah. he got that text mm -hmm. from my husband, he texted him a picture of it. He was on his way. Well, yeah. I have to say, you said the first person you called was Candace. Yes, I'm Please honored. don't call Candace if you have a snake, because she's not going to try and help you remove it. <laughs> I grabbed the baby. She, so she like, helped, yes. 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 So let's take she the babies with the kids. Was, I mean, I, did, I did not know what to do. I really didn't. I was getting ready for work, as you saw. Like, I changed out of my robe and threw on some clothes and came outside. <laughs> and she even did all, an interview with me with yeah, just I mean, concealer on. A six-foot boa constrictor, yes. I mean, those things can do a lot of damage, and they yeah. can certainly injure a lot of, you know, pets. I can yeah. only and even speak for children. myself. We're in your backyard all the time. I was yes. out there this morning <laughs> blowing bubbles with Graham and playing in our sandbox, and that thing was just right above right. us. Watching, watching you. Framing. Yeah. Oh, we've spent too much time together, Candace. Lovely. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thank you, Candace, for coming to our rescue. Oh, anytime. <laughs> Don't call me again. <laughs>